Hey folks, welcome back to Jack's Tech Corner. Once again, I'm your host, Jack, and we're going to talk a little bit about post-configuration once you install your new Photoshop Elements 2020. A lot of people miss this, and you'll see why here in a minute why this is so important. But if you're going to keep one of your older versions, this happens to be Photoshop Elements 2018, on your computer, what you're going to do is go to File. I'm sorry. Make sure you click on this on make the light at first there go to file and back up your catalog okay so we're gonna make a backup of the catalog this little message here is saying that media files uh, have been moved around since the last import we're not worried about that we're not going to reconnect those but i just want to get a baseline of this uh, database so we're going to do a full backup next and it's going to ask us where do we want to back it up but we're not going to put it on a backup path there. That doesn't make sense, right? So we'll click Browse. Now, this is on a Mac, but it's going to be the same on a Windows. You're going to get a Windows Explorer. And we're just going to find a place here. I think what I'm going to do, I should have a, uh, I told you, uh, we've talked before about my external drive. It's an external Western digital uh, drive. And I'm going to stick it on there for safekeeping. And I'll show you why we're doing this. Uh, here very shortly when we're doing our uh, post-installation configuration of a new, any new Photoshop elements uh, for that matter. So we'll click on uh, my data. These are just uh, different shares I have in here set up. And uh, we'll look down here. Maybe for safekeeping, I'll keep it in pictures. And I'm going to create a new folder in here. I'm sorry, go down here, create a new folder. Call this, you can call it whatever you want. This happens to be Elements 2018 Backup. All right, so we're going to make a backup of this full catalog. And we're going to back it up there. And uh, at that point, we'll just click on uh, Save Backup. So at this point, we see that we are uh, writing a backup. So we're going to give this a few seconds here to fire off. It usually doesn't take too long unless your catalog is really extensive. Uh, you have like, you know, hundreds of thousands of albums. And through these videos, we'll talk about the importance of uh, maybe creating different catalogs uh, just to help speed up the process of your workflow. Um, I used to always have different catalogs for uh, things like uh, vacations or a family, or maybe a catalog for wedding photography or event photography, uh, whatever you're shooting. Again, just to kind of speed up the workflow. Right, we're going to pause this and let this backup continue writing, but you can see here it is writing the backup. Okay, so once the backup is completed, you obviously get a message that says the backup completed successfully. Now I'm going to click OK on here. And... At that point, you're going to take your Photoshop Elements, whatever version you had before 2020. Uh, this happens, like I said, this is 2018. I'm going to click on Quit Elements. So we close the window. All right. So our next point we're going to do here is, again, this is on a Mac, but we are going to open up our Photoshop Elements 2020. And I'm going to open the Organizer. So I click on Organizer on the screen that we were just uh, showing you there on the last video. This is just a home screen, and I'll show you ways to get around it where you don't have to open the screen every time because I think it's a little bit, um, it's not a great time savings. So here's what we're coming up with now. So this is post-configuration or post-installation. It says, the catalog, My Catalog 2, was created with an earlier version of the product. Would you like to convert it? That's why we create a backup, because once you convert this, the backup's not going to be able to read it correctly. So click on Yes, Convert It, and it's going to do its thing. Catalog converted successfully. It doesn't take that long. We uh, resize this window here and put everything back into uh, where it should be so we can see what's going on. We're going to cancel this for right now. All right, let me get this uh, pulled over here. 
So now we have uh, Photoshop Elements. Just click on About Elements. You can see now this is the 2020 Organizer. And you just click off of that. Click on it. I'm sorry. Get rid of that. So there is our albums that we had before. If we have any albums in here, these will be converted. Here's our folders that we had before from the different, uh, a few places we had out there. And at that point, we are going to talk about um, more about building albums and everything. So don't worry about that. We're going to get into building some albums in uh, Photoshop Elements 2020. But I just wanted to show you that last uh, step. We are still going to check here if um, I don't see it in here at all. Let's go through these menus real quick here. Because I also noticed when I first opened up the editor, just to give you a little bit of insight to that, it said that I want to run the update. So if there's any updates, run those with your Photoshop elements and uh, pull all that stuff and get it up to date. I think the next video I'm going to do here for you is we're going to do a little bit of comparison between Photoshop Elements 2020, what's new in there, as opposed to Photoshop 2018 to see about the upgrade. Um, as I said, I did not buy 2019. I skipped the version. I know I don't normally do that when I'm teaching these. And I'm sorry about that. But I did skip the version. So, um, But we will have a look at 2018 compared to 2019. I'll set that up for the next video. And uh, I'll let you go ahead and... Uh, watch this video so thanks again for watching uh jack's tech corner if you're not subscribed to the videos click on subscribe i do appreciate that and uh come back if you're learning photoshop elements just keep coming back and keep learning more and more of photoshop elements um, i will be building a whole learning series and the reason i do that is because you notice on youtube you you know you have to sit through different commercial breaks or there's commercials or ads that pop up and uh, that's the nature of youtube but if you want to see the stuff uh, completely uh, free of advertisement, then go to jtclearning.com where you can find those, those great courses. So check those out. This one is not built yet. It's going to take me a while to build the 2020, but I am in the process of building it. So you will be seeing that come up. So, okay, folks, but thanks. And I'm not going to hang this uh, video any longer. So take care. And I'll see you back here in the next video. Bye for now.